Good early frozen morning. <laughs> We're so happy that you're here. We daily vlogs. So I hope you enjoy this video. Come back tomorrow. We look like twins. We're in a little Irish. It is 7 30 in the morning. James is still asleep. We're gonna let him sleep for hopefully another 15, 20 more minutes. And then we're going to do the ridiculous things that Chicagoans do and go watch a bunch of plumbers pour chemicals into the river to turn it green. Why not? When the wind chill is negative four. But don't worry. We got a plan. We got, we got a plan. We got our long johns on. <laughs> we got and our we, crop we tops on. Our very, okay. My Irish sweater's a crop top because I have a pregnant belly. But it's about, about the warmth today. So we're layering. Yeah. And we also know the area. No, we're gonna retreat inside. I'm excited. We haven't done this in a very long time. They did it in secrecy last year, so there was no crowd. The year before that, mm -hmm. they didn't do it. And I then know the if parade. I've ever, have we seen it like once? We've seen it. We've twice. seen the we've seen the river green a million times. But we never. We've only seen watched it. it like the process twice. Yeah. And then the actual parade is like an hour or two after that, and that's mm -hmm. gonna be a little more windy, but the sun will be up by then. Yeah. So. Let's, let's go. go. Whoa, that was weird. We that don't do that. So this is the deceitfulness of Chicago. Look how beautiful it actually looks. It's 12 degrees in the wind chill of negative four. So I'm walking over to our car to get the bugaboo built. Oh my gosh, the breeze is so bad. Um, so we can get James like in a cocoon of layers and jackets and whatnot. All right, I don't know if our friends, Steve, Leah, Henry and Miles realized how much they were going to be helping us when they gave us these little liners for our stroller. They're like universal, they fit in everybody's. But we've definitely gotten some good mileage out of them and they are a godsend on days like today when it's negative four wind chill and we strapped James in like seven layers plus his down suit into this then and then he's like good and toasted and you cover this and it's like a heat shell. So thank you guys so much. You are making our St. Patrick's Day's festivities actually happen. <laughs> Are you ready to go see the river dying? I'm You're all ready, yeah. <laughs> you are hilarious. <laughs> so we got the U.S. Coast Guard just honking their horns too. We are on the river, 907. The dying, we think so. Tell me that we got kayakers over there. I think wow. because the kayakers are here, I feel like we need to go on the other side of the bridge. I feel like if there were, this oh, yeah. wouldn't advertise. True. Like they would tell those people the river's not gonna turn. Yeah, we're not sure. We're, we're on the northern side of the festivities. You can see all the people over there on the bridges waiting. Um, but it's, right here, there's not as much wind right now. So if the wind can stay away, this is, this is pretty enjoyable. So we got maybe 45 minutes to kill here. All right, there's the one of the plumbers union boats. So the, actually the plumbers union, I think it's 130. Here is the actual organization that puts this whole thing on. The city does not do this. It's 100% done by the plumbers union. So he, he took a risk. I saw on a random website that the bridges would be shut down. And like 15 minutes before it's about to start, police came and said, sorry everyone, you have to get off the bridge. So, Dave is out of his stroller. We're just a little further down, but we're not like totally front row, but we could also be on this. It'll be good. Alright, we left the river. There really isn't Chicago much fanfare. Theater. Boom, Chicago Theater. Look at this sign. Head to St. Patrick's Day from Guinness from all together. Did you know Guinness actually has a great relationship with the city of Chicago? 
They're building like one of the only out of Ireland like facilities here in Chicago on Goose Island. It's not gonna be open for like two or three years, I think. Oh. But it's gonna be a distillery, like a and like you can do is a it tour. A brewery, or brewery, brewery. I'm sorry, my, my face is numb. <laughs> I can't tell you. <laughs> um, James was doing so good until right up to the end. Yeah. But he had some Fritos. We saw it. And then we just decided to make our way to warm. Yeah. Now we have like an hour and a half until the parade starts, but that's also like a mile that way. So we're gonna try to find some warmth. Maybe some food, maybe a bathroom. <laughs> Hoping Block 37 is open, but. We have got so many energy drinks. And even though I can't consume them, I'm very excited. Yeah, about we it. honestly got like six. How much better do you feel? I already feel many times better. Yeah. Look at this kid's rosy cheeks. He's still not speaking to us. And we are at Block 37. We've never seen this before. It's like. Just golf? Why not? Cute mural. Look at this ad. Project Chicago. That is what we just witnessed. <laughs> we came to Gail's. Best grilled cheese in the world. <laughs> it's, called. it's a grilled cheese restaurant. Oh, Gail V's. <laughs> I can't get over these cheeks. I feel like they're more red now that we're inside. They had donuts in support of Ukraine. I don't know if they paid for them or... Yeah, it's a local bakery doing it in support. So I think they yeah. bought them and they're just handing them out. Yeah, so yummy. Actually, I don't know if it's yummy. I haven't tried it yet, but it's so nice. And Peter got coffee. Oh, look at this homemade mac and cheese. So here's mine. It's called the Duke. It's got like ham and Swiss. Sarah's got a classic. Mustard, yeah. like cranberry, uh, mustard. cranberry rhubarb mustard. So I got a classic. Like classic. And the mac and cheese extra for James, but Sarah and yeah. Peter will be stealing some of that. He's enjoying his break from this suit in the weather. What are you doing? Whoa, someone's walking on the elevator. <laughs> He's got two pairs of socks on, that's what, and he's been in his suit, so that's why he doesn't have shoes on. But he just like, you can tell he's walking a little, a little different. <gasps> what are you doing here? Nice. Back into the cold. <laughs> Oh gosh, the light is snoozing. Hopefully the bagpipes don't wake them. <laughs> the bagpipes don't wake them. Sirens will, marching bands. Yeah, we're choosing to be off to the back. It's pretty darn crowded. I almost got threw up on it. You better did almost get threw up on it. was St. Patrick's Day in Chicago. It was <laughs> disgusting. Um, he didn't eat it, he did not eat his. No, it was repulsive. But um, sure, we'll hang out here. It's nice and sunny. Yeah, we can see. It'll be great. All right, James is still asleep. We'll see how long that lasts. Because here comes the beginning of the parade. I see Chicago flag, American flag, St. Patrick's flag, firemen, POW, Ireland. I see a Ukrainian flag. I think it's the, the queen of the parade over there. We're like the very end, so Sarah pointed out it's kind of funny that like they just like get past this intersection and they like do whatever because it's it's that's the very end. Look, it's the St. Patrick's Day princesses now. I'm making up all these titles as I go. I don't know who these people are. They're sponsored by Cheese. Oh look at it. it's uh what do they got the Chicago White Sox do the first? South Sox. We are at the South Sox. Yeah, as we cross, so we're literally two hundred south, like or one hundred south, we're on Monroe, which is literally the first block south. So as we cross, uh, like I saw like a cop like welcoming people, they're like, welcome to the south side. Like, does this look like the south side to you? But I mean we'll see the south side tomorrow. Yeah, technically we're on the south side of Chicago. What's this dude's name? South That's his name? Stupid name. Hey, Paul, I like your jacket. 
Hey, it's Misericordia, Heart of Mercy. We love them. Good. Hopefully next year they'll actually have the Misericordia Fest, which has introduced me to the Euro. This year? This year. When, what, what, isn't it the end of summer? Yeah. We love Misericordia, though. What? My mom worked there. Who? My mother. <laughs> we were just talking about like, what it, what, what a Chicagoan does for some free swag getting thrown out. And Sarah looks at me and she's like, you're the one who got seven free energy drinks today. <laughs> and my mom worked at Visitor Cardia after high school. She didn't work there like free school, but she did work. But and her name's gonna be on a plaque there. Yeah, because we had like donations, like it's like in lieu of flowers for her services. Oh, donations. that was why I thought it was because like they loved her so much. No, because there was so many donations oh, in my mom's name, that's and so cool. because of her service there. But like it's because they knew her that they like did that addition. Yeah, yeah, we gotta cool. go see that. We got another marching band coming up. I want to give a shout out to Sarah's cousin Matt, who's doing St. Baldrick's. Yes. Some of you actually donated, and yeah, he's live streaming so now. He's live streaming. Like I said his hair is super long. He's calling it Hair Mageddon. Yeah. Is he doing a beard too? I think so. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so strange. <laughs> but he raised over a thousand dollars for childhood cancer. So. Yes. And we're watching live. We're oh, very proud. <laughs> uh oh, here we go. March it out. Fuel my soul. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this puppy in the background coming up hot. Oh, this is not my favorite song, but Peter thinks this is. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's the Red Sox song, right? Yeah. Everyone's trying to act like it's not a 10 degrees outside right now. Right. <laughs> we got Irish dancers. It's hard to see their jigs, but they're jigging. Okay, this is a little bit better. We got some Irish dancers. Oh, we know there's some more right here. I hope our children want to go on the Irish dance. We're supposed to be keeping an eye out for a, a Florida high school, but it's very hard to see the, the school names from up back here. But I can tell by the fact that these people aren't shivering that these are not from Florida. All right, it's been about an hour. We got another hour and a half of this parade to go. We are really are, like we love this parade, but we are purists to the Southside Irish, which is tomorrow. And we'll probably stay for that whole thing tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. and we like, we'll like know more people and see more people. And with it being so chilly, it's a grocery it's, shopping. It's literally gonna be 45 degrees warmer tomorrow. Right. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna go and take a better look at the river, like up close. Now that it's all mixed up. And that the, like it, it's a little bit warmer out now than it was. There is not a cloud in the sky. You never know it was under 20 degrees. <laughs> wow. So the river walk is still closed, which is probably a good idea. There's the guy on stilts over there. The kid is awake. The kid. He missed the whole parade. It's okay, he was more enjoyable for him to nap it. Yeah, you slept over an hour. Well, my carries awake tomorrow. Yeah, good to go on the train. Go, go home. Be warm. Yay! <laughs> what? Boy. Mom is resting because she's getting a headache, so we're pretending to eat feasts of food. We got pizza, Mickey Rice crispy milk. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> Okay, love watching the Ballinger family. Yeah, we're a band. We stand the Ballingers. All right, Sarah just woke up from her nap trying to fend away a headache, so I think she's feeling better, but still has it. It's 5:04, which means I actually have to get going to the gym because it closes at seven, and I still think it's too cold to run. So I'm actually gonna make some um, buffalo cauliflower for for probably just. Um, Sarah and James, I might have one or two before, but I really need to get this in the, what is this thing called? Air fryer and then get changing and get ready to go because I don't have too much time. So I'm hoping for eight miles to get in today. Thank you, dad, for making us this delicious buffalo cauliflower. And you don't even get to enjoy it because you're going to go run. We all suck a time. 
Yeah. I'm cutting my cell phone out of my running shorts. Don't mind me. It's very hot. I am not sure if Peter mentioned this, but when we were walking home, I started to lose my vision, like I was getting blurriness. Um, but the perk of it being a weekend was that I was able to just hop in bed, take some medicine, just be in the dark for like two hours. And the headache's lingering a little bit, but like nothing like it had potential to be. Um, so I had my glasses on and just hoping that it stays clear the rest of the night. It's almost like my head is sore. Like I don't really have a headache. It's just like foggy and sore. So I think I beat it. Well, I forgot my sweatband, my headband. Um, but it's wild that like, I think it's closer to like 19 degrees right now. And it feels significantly, like that's the crazy thing about Chicago. It, when it gets really cold is that those single digit variants, deltas, um, feel extremely different. Because I feel like it's ridiculous that it feels 19 and it feels like, that feels good right now. But tomorrow will feel like summer with it being 50, 55. Senior Vespa has been spotted on Broadway. If James was here, he'd be so excited. Very excited. I was nervous about time. I think I mentioned on the way to the gym. I literally finished the eighth mile um, as an alarm went off, so like letting everybody know, like, stop working out and go change because we're closing, which I've never had that happen before. I've never been at Planet Fitness that late. <laughs> I've been there when they turn off the TVs, which happens like 15 minutes before I close. That <laughs> happened, and I thought about quitting then. But I was like, you know what, if I can, if I, got, I, I only, all I need is like four and a half, five and a half more minutes to get this last mile done, I'm gonna stick it out. And literally, I finished my mile, and then they start. I start cleaning it off, like spraying it down with sanitizer. And as that was happening, the, some alarm went off, and everybody kind of shut their machines down. So I got my eight miles in. Um, I'm gonna hit up the grocery store. Gonna hit up Jewel on the way home. Pick up a few last-minute things for tomorrow. We got the perfect cup for our Green River. Jamesy has been such a good kid. He watched Coco as I edited the vlog. Peter is running to the grocery store right now. We are going to the South Side tomorrow for the parade. So there's just some things like Christine and I, like we're kind of tag teaming ingredients for everything we're making tomorrow, um, which is like corned beef and cabbage with veggies and beer cheese soup and all that good stuff. So Peter's gonna grocery shop. I started dinner. We're gonna watch Finding Nemo now. All right, we are all done and set. Time to walk home with all the goodies for tomorrow. I made something super easy for dinner tonight, and that is these Mediterranean veggies that we got from Trader Joe's with jar sauce from Trader Joe's as well. It's like a tomato pepper sauce on flatbreads from Aldi. Looks super good. Kind of smells like blaze. It does. It smells a little spicy, and I just had a buffalo cough. <laughs> Heat. Third time is a charm. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Our bedtime routine is a little energetic tonight. <laughs> Never. So it's only like 10.30, I think. Yeah. Um, but we have an early and busy day tomorrow, going to the South Side to enjoy the South Side Irish Parade. We have got friends coming, going to Christina and Grant's. Got to see some people and family members on my side. Yeah, um, it'll be a busy day, plus daylight savings time, so we lose an hour. Um, I would love to live in a state that got rid of it, I think. <laughs> I the, believe that it was like created in Chicago. I recently saw oh, that. Really? Yeah, but like, oh no, I think those were time zone. I don't know. I don't know. I could see that because I think we were a big train hub back then. Yeah, back then. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>